They are number 12, Tyler D'Angelo, showing a Charlotte Limousine Cross, Dealing High School FFA. Dakota Hall, showing a Main Cross, Indian Springs 4-H. Taylor Flanagan, showing a Black Angus from the Taylor Middle School, High School FFA. Drake Bishop, showing a Key Main Cross from D-Land High School FFA. And Kirby Hunter, showing an Angus from Taylor Middle School FFA. Because I'm about to puke. Okay. I should turn the camera on you because I really like to have this on the film. Oh. <laughs> Look how good he's doing. Well, I thought I recognized you when you sat down and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> doing a great job. He's doing a wonderful job. Get into our third class and our second, uh, the first class of our second division. I, I think we have an easy winner in this in this group. A heifer that is just um, outpowers everything in the class, and in terms of being just uh, very muscular uh, from end to end. A heifer that is just is by far the deepest body, uh, boldest sprung female that we've seen today. She's wide tracking. She's wide chested. She's one that uh, she's got that look to her when you set her up on the profile, and uh, ties all that into a very sound and easy moving package. Uh, the heifer we have in second place, I think we kind of um, have to look at from here on back. We have some uh, some females that have some uh, maybe some structure issues and have some uh, some depth of, some depth and capacity and volume issues. But I think this heifer here, she kind of puts it together the, the next best of what we have um, to work with in this class. She's one that she's got some depth of body. She's got some Springer rib. She's just one that doesn't you don't really. Uh, like the way that she's put together from a rear end standpoint, she wants to slope off from, from her hooks to her pins and track a little narrow. She's also one that wants to get a little um, heavy front if we like to trim some of that off of her, maybe make her a little more competitive. We have two heifers that I think are very similar in their type. They're both a, a little more growthy, big bone, raw bone type of females. We went with the young man's yellow heifer. Uh, third in the class she's one that uh, I think she's just uh, when you get them on the side uh, from the side she might not be quite as thick and powerful from a muscular standpoint 
but I think she has uh, enough. Uh, she's just one that has a little more extra depth and added rib to it for us today. And like we said, the um, young lady's black heifer. She's one she's really attractive out through her front end. She's powerful when you look at her from the rear. She just wants to get a little shallow body. We'd like to soften her up in her middle as well. And the young man's uh, Angus appearing up her next. She's one that wants to just get off in her structure a little bit. She's a big, growthy type of a female. She's got some production uh, 